when the Oncotype DX score was developed, they classified it as low, intermediate, or high. And those uh, benchmarks were set because they wanted a low risk to be 10% or less chance of recurrence, high risk was 30% or higher, and intermediate was in between. And in some of the early work, they bucketed the cases, low, intermediate, or high. For a given patient, however, the score you actually get is very specific, and it's a spectrum. With every increased number of scores, so the score goes from you know, 0 to 100, most scores fall between about 10 and 20, uh, and then there are higher scores beyond. But for any given score, it's a spectrum. And so you can look at the materials that you get when you order the test, and it shows you the outcomes for chemotherapy plus tamoxifen, the outcomes for tamoxifen alone as a function of the score, and the difference between the curves is the magnitude of the benefit for chemotherapy. And I show patients those curves on the form that you get the score back with. It, it, it lines up where their score is, and it allows you to very carefully estimate what the role of chemotherapy might be. So while there's intermediate in the literature, for any given patient, there's only a number, and you know, there's a range of what the benefit of chemotherapy will be based on that number.